okay so going back to the calculation of values let us calculate two very much required values and these are going to be gross profit margin and net profit margin so let us begin with starting start with a new measure and since you know we already have the measure for gross profit and we already have measure for sales we will not need to go back to data and you know see at what level we need to work we just need to use our measures to create a new measure so simply click on modeling tab here and click on new measure and in that new measure what we are going to do is we are going to name it as gp margin and this is going to be equals to gross profit and now select this value of gross profit that is a measure divided by sales ftp and uh, you can do the multiply by 100 or you can simply fix that from this format so i'm going to use this option and i'm going to say please pick it up as a percentage option and then since it is a percentage i will prefer to have two decimal and i would like to have this placed in gl so everything is fine except the spelling so let me fix that so gp margin okay so everything is done so i will simply press enter and this should now be added let me remove this here and okay so this is added let me quickly add the net profit margin as well so i will say new measure and i will say this is going to be np margin equals net profit that is a measure already divided by sales ftp that is a measure already and the format should be fixed to a percentage uh, not this one let me go to the percentage two decimals should be applied and uh, it should be in the uh, in the gl that is all fine okay so everything is done and we already have this measure now now the next point is where do we want to present how do we want to present this measure in our uh, on our dashboard so if you like to present the you know the value for all three years you should be using matrix if you just like to present the recent year value you can use the kpi as well so i would like to prefer to have you know the complete three year values so i will simply copy this uh, parameter from this matrix from here Control c Control v right now i'm just going to fix, put it here for the uh, for saving time let me remove this total ftp from here and now let me bring in uh the gross profit from gp margin i will have to check if there is any filter on this so let me check that filter and let me get rid of that even though that is not going to make any difference but let me get rid of that anyway so we have the gross profit margin uh, we should change the title as well to say the margin properly gross profit margin and let me also uh, copy and paste this visual and make it work for net profit as well so title first of all let me change that that is going to be here and i'm gonna say call this net profit margin and in the values let us remove gross profit and let us bring net profit this is here net pro nb margin and here we go the next thing that i want to do here is to make this chart here with of sales revenue and gross profit and net profit a bit more meaningful and i want to bring in gross profit margin and net profit margin in the same chart let us see if we can do that you know we should not be putting in so much information that it becomes meaningless but let us try to make it more meaning meaningful if it works so first of all let us select this one and let us go to these chart options now i don't want to simply drop in one more line i want to bring in some information in the columns so i will rather select this column this chart here now we have two options actually here the first one is line and stacked and second one is line and clustered what's the difference i will just show you in a minute so first of all let us start with line and stacked column chart so if i do that uh, uh, first of all it has changed everything for me it has converted my lines into columns and i did not like that at all so for me i'm going to this information this tab here and i will say uh, from this column values convert that to line values so i will pick it up here and I will transfer that and similarly I will pick this one here as well and I will transfer that to line and the 
third one net profit will also be transferred and that is just my style if you like to have any of these values in the column and that is making sense to you you can do that there is no such benchmark all we need to achieve is to make this chart you know easy to read for everyone and more meaningful okay so we once we have done that now i will bring that gross profit and net profit margin here in the column values so let me bring in the gp margin first and let me bring in the net profit margin as well in the column values and i don't want to see this x-axis here so i will go to x-axis and i'm gonna delete this x-axis here and that works fine for me and now let me get it into the focus mode so that i can actually see what is happening okay so now you will notice that uh, we have the line we have the bars for the for these two charts for the net profit margin and gross profit margin but the problem is these chart these bars are coming you know the net profit margin is coming on the top of gross profit margin and uh, this is not very meaningful at least for me so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change the chart to this one that is going to be line and clustered column chart and let us see how it works so we have done that and first of all let me confirm my values are correct yes line values are fine and the column values are gp margin and net profit margin now we have a separate line for gp margin and net profit margin and if you look at this uh this is now comparatively better not a lot meaningful but you know comparatively better than that so if you think that this is going to be more meaningful uh, i think th it, it is actually more meaningful we can see the, what is happening on net profit margin and what is happening on gross profit margin when the sales are changing so I, I would prefer to keep this chart and i will simply go back to report and keep it here and now it is getting very very small so i will just like to you know make it a bit bigger uh, with some formatting and i will do that later on in this course but otherwise you know we have achieved some basic sales analytics in, uh, so far now the next analytics that i want to achieve are basically relate cross related to the balance sheet values as well so i want to show the sales growth and sales decline uh, with change in the net assets of the company and you will understand that is so obvious right uh, but the problem is the assets belong to balance sheet and the balance sheet calculation is a bit different we have to learn a little bit advanced text for that so we will move that later in this course once we start balance sheet so we'll come back to pnl and we will also create those analytics for pnl which are related to balance sheet as well